Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Billy Jack Benson. Today we will be painting a very simple painting. It just uses two colors, black and white. I'm using Mars Black and Vivid White. Uh, we will be mixing a gray. There are four different shades of gray. This is from a Bob Ross tutorial. Uh, he had different names for it because he did it more than once, but it's supposed to be a really basic uh, tutorial that you can paint later with oil paints and color it in with oil paints after after it dries. Uh, it's really fun to do. I've done it a few times, but this is the first time I'm doing a tutorial for it. These are the tools you will be using, which are really simple. You need a paper towel, just a simple paper towel stretched up. You could steal that from the kitchen or something or from the bathroom. You need a foam brush, just a simple disposable foam brush. You can ask Dad if he has one in the garage. And then you need a liner brush. I got two different liner brushes here. This one's a little frayed. I'm gonna have to trim it with scissors. This one's okay for what we're doing. This is gonna be for uh, the branches and stuff. Uh, if you ever have brushes that are starting to wear out, you just, just trim them with scissors. That's all you really need to do until there's no more bristles left. Uh, you can uh, you can keep your brushes lasting a really long time if you just take care of them. That's why I work by the sink here. So I can wash them right away after I'm done using them. And uh, I got the same brushes. I buy new ones, but I've had the same brushes. Uh, since I started painting in 2008, I've added more and I've had to throw through a few out front washing them right away but you know you can make your tools of your trade last a really long time if you just take care of them so we're going to start enough talking we're going to start this is all, all i did this was uh an old will smith painting i did he had his eye all messed up so i was never happy with him i couldn't fix the eye and this was like a week before he punched chris rock in the face and the eye was all messed up on will smith so it's pretty funny that the eye was all messed up and then a week later he punched Chris Rock in the face. Okay, so we're enough talking, we're gonna start. So, uh, so I just painted over it, make sure it's dry. Mine's not completely dry, but that's okay. I want a little bit of grays in here. So we're just gonna tap our paper towel and this is gonna be our light source. I'm gonna do it a little off center so it doesn't look so, uh, so generic. My light source is going to be here. And I'm doing it a landscape style. Bob Ross did this in a portrait style. And then you just, these are your light rays basically. My canvas is moving. These are your light rays. And what the intention here is, is that the trees that are going to be closest to the light source are going to be the darkest and uh, the trees that are going to be farthest away from the light source are going to be your lightest okay i'm okay with that light source now i'm going to take my foam brush and i'm gonna i'm gonna go right into the black Use uh, your mom's hair dryer, your sister's hair dryer if she has one, or if you're a girl, you can use your own hair dryer. Dry it right away. Right now, Melanie is sleeping, so I can't wake her up and take her hair dryer. So here's what you want to do: you want to go just right down the canvas and put more pressure as you go. My canvas. Smith is under an infamous thing. I'm getting bumps on his face. And you, you want me to paint them. You normally want to do what I'm, I'm doing and use an old canvas that you've painted over. You want to use paper or something, canvas paper, or a lime. 
inner card, one of those canvas cards. It's good to use the, the stuff on cardboard or on paper because if you want to sell it, especially internationally, it'll be cheap. Shipping will be cheap and people love free shipping. So let's treat as a big trunk. That's okay. Okay, now I'm going to mix it gray. Bob Ross did this in 15 minutes. A lot of people don't talk smack about Bob Ross. He's impossible to watch, this and that. Well, guess what, buddy? And your ego, your big ego, about talking smack about Bob Ross. He did this 40 plus years ago. You're just a kid. So shut up. Certainly, I've only had my first cup of coffee. It's early for dinner. This one's got a crook in it, too. Okay. So now, I'm going to put some branches. I'm going to get into my liner brush. Maybe a bit more paint first, though. Let's get a little bit more black. Okay, now we're going to get right into your liner brush. I'm just going to dip it in water first. Okay, now we'll start with the black trees. I'm just loading my liner brush. I'm never good at this liner brush, especially not like other artists. I have, tr I have, I have shaky hands, so I have, trouble, I have trouble putting the right amount of pressure on the brush. I shake it a lot. I bend my strokes or... When you're painting trees, all these branches are terrible. Yours is going to be much better. Mine is just awful. These are all like oil color this later with the oil. You can make it look much better. I definitely don't have the strokes of that, but I'm trying my best. Now we're going to get into the, we're going to get into the gray branches. I'm going to fill this out with some water. I'm just taking out from my little container of water I got here. I'm using acrylic, by the way, obviously. You know, Bob Ross was missing his thumb. He was actually considered disabled because he was missing uh, his thumb from one of his thumbs that he held the palette with from a, a, a shooting accident when he was in the army. That's another thing. People talk smack about Bob Ross. He did over 20,000 paintings, most of which were done in less than 30 minutes. He did it just because he loved painting. That's what happens to a lot of artists. They want fame before they want the work done. The artists, they want the fame before they do all the work. I was a chef for 20 years. You don't become a famous chef without working first. You know what? Some people 
This is what I found kind of hysterical. They would have any experience in the kitchen except at home. They would go to chef school and then they would begin telling everybody they're a chef. Now oh, that just doesn't make sense. That's like getting your first guitar and all of a sudden you're a musician. I don't know, does the egos come fast? Likes, and then they're a grandmaster. No, you know, what we gotta do is we gotta push all this back. We gotta push all this back into the background. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get in there. Get into our, uh, our foam brush again. myself and the kitchen and real artists, professionals are watching this. Okay, now I'm just going to try and make some uh, illusion forage here. just to make the illusion of leaves. Leaves of different colors I'm just getting into. This is a highlight. I'm just getting into my into my uh my paper towel here. I'm gonna go over my foliage. And that's it, we're done. That's the painting. I'm gonna sign this. I'm not gonna color it with oil like it, like uh, like some people would. Where should I put this in this mess over here? Let's see. Billy. Jack. There's a lot of BB artists on the Billy Jack list. My, the traditional variation of my name is William John Gaylord. Named after all the men in my family, that's it. That's me and Billy Simple. Having Gaylord or Gary in your name, Gay used to be a really good thing. People you said it all the time, not like this here today. Man, you were happy. So if you had a name like Gaylord, you were happy, Lord. Gary's fine. A lot of people keep calling you Gary. Okay, I'm going to clean up now. I'm done here. Thank you uh, for painting along with me. If you did, remember, love is the fire in which we burn. Love you.